ask people on Twitter and Patreon to send me their favorite, most recognizable video game cover art, not informing them that I was going to ruin their lives by remaking it even better with AI, because AI is perfect, and machines are taking over, and we're all doomed, and art is dead. Let me see what it would do with this. <laughs> Alright, I mean, it's, it's kind of close. They look like mascots, realistically. What if we did, like, Overwatch? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I like this one though, I'll, I'll keep that. Start with Patreon Galaxy 2. This is a pretty recognizable one. So the rules will be that I can generate the image five different times and then choose from whatever the best one happens to be. And I get like maybe five minutes to edit and enhance it using the AI tools. Because if you'll notice, AI is not always great at logos specifically. They don't really spell things correctly. You just see what it comes up with all by itself and we'll go freeform the tall canvas. We'll probably do like 12 of these, I think. And we're gonna see if any of them are better or... Do you see, see what I'm talking about with the logos? This is not terrible, to be honest. For Super Mario Galaxy 2, we definitely want Yoshi to be in this. And clouds. For some reason, there's clouds in space here. I know Miyamoto was a video game developer and not a scientist, but you telling me he didn't know it doesn't rain in space. But one thing you do want to specify is blue overalls. It doesn't always quite know what colors to put the characters. So I got a few of these, where it just ends up looking like a Chinese bootleg. All right, see what comes up with this. Number two. <laughs> I love how he looks like kind of vintage here. This is actually not bad, realistically speaking. All right, we'll keep that one. We'll keep that one and maybe go back to it. All right, for number three, riding on a green. Yoshi, specifically with arms and legs, because apparently I need to specify that. All right, I mean, it's closer. He did trade one leg for another button on his suspenders and a few more fingers. Fingers are always gonna be a problem, we just can't even worry about that. Yoshi just looks a little messed up, and I'm not sure how much we can really do about that, because it seems to just want to make him like some sort of mutated germ. Let's just try a different style, make it some character art. The video game ones tend to work pretty well. We'll go with Overwatch. I know, so cringe. Uh. Now if it were Overwatch 2 though, y'all be singing my praises. It looks like a Mario character. Or a Luigi character. This looks like something you'd find in a Canadian cartoon. I don't know why exactly that, but I'm not wrong. I think it likes freeform a little more. <laughs> SAR 244. Mario almost looks decent here. His, his hand, feet, leg is a little messed up, but... All right, let's specify a few more things with Yoshi. This is our last one. <laughs> it's kind of realistic. Oh, jeez. All right, this one's pretty good. You clean up the cancerous foot growth and the extra knee. Put Yoshi right down here. I mean, that is absolutely doable. I don't know about the soccer ball. You know what? Let's work with this one. So first off, I want to get rid of this soccer ball, and we'll just add green grass. <laughs> All right, there's some literal grass here. Right, let's get rid of the extra foot, and we'll get rid of this extra knee. All right, let's add Yoshi. We've got three more edits we can do here. Make a general Yoshi shape. I know I'm kind of cheating because my art skills are amazing. You could fit a nice Yoshi here. Okay. Tummy. Do you think do you think AI likes the cutesy terms preferably like tummy or belly instead of something hardcore like stomach shoes? I hope it gives I hope it gives them like Jordans or something. See what we can do with that. Hmm. Uh huh. <sighs> All right, let's go with this one. We have one edit. All I want to do is get his legs right. If we can just nail that, the rest of it's fine. It can be like a Yoshi redesign. Give it all this area to work with. Super Mario's Mario's legs. It's about what we can do here. It's about a 50-50. Like, people forget that as scarily futuristic as this AI is, it really only does things correctly, like, 10% of the time, and you have to tell it exactly what to do under most circumstances. <laughs> I mean, I guess we go with this one. It's a little bit screwy. Yeah, I mean, this is... It doesn't even matter. This is what we have to go with at this point. All right, finished product number one. He's, he's kind of cute and kind of coherent. More coherent than Mario. All right, we have to do a Sonic one. We might do Spyro. I do like Spyro. Guys, did you know I like Spyro? Spyro is something I like. Have you seen all of my 50 videos about Spyro? Guys, just so you know, I'm, I'm adding to the lore of my YouTube channel. Yeah, but I think we should do this. I really do. Blue, you have to specify this because they will make him yellow. Blue Sonic the Hedgehog. Motion blur. Let's specify that he's running very fast. I feel like that's important with Sonic. Okay, I mean, 
This looks a little bit gross. <laughs> I like the background for this. This is actually really nice. But yeah, if you do the realistic style, it ends up giving you like one of these, like an actual hedgehog. This is Brittany, by the way, from Super Mario. Uh, I designed her very specifically. I totally didn't just say Super Mario in space to test out how to use the program, and it ended up giving me some random chick. Uh, no, she's my OC, and I really like her and specified every detail about her. And we'll try just generating the same thing again with, with Freeform. Because sometimes you can just get lucky, and then we'll try different styles for the third, fourth, and fifth one. Oh. Oh. Look at him go. This one's a little bit closer. Weird little white streak through his hair. This will be number three. Realistic full shot. See what it hits us with. Whoa, okay. Are the, I like the original Xbox logo down here. And the game is made for two-year-olds. I will give it that. Weird. I can work with a lot of these. I like this one, to be honest. I don't like the Sonic movie style. Like, if you... The thing is, this goes with a lot of Google images. And if you Google Sonic the Hedgehog, all the images now are from the movie, or most of them. So it, it just tends to go with that style. I feel like Sonic's closer to Fortnite or Overwatch. Goofy, uh, funny. This is number four. Four tonight. Ha. <laughs> I was feeling extra funny today before I recorded, and I think it's I think it's showing pretty well. Ah, all right, let's not do Fortnite. Oh boy, this is gonna trigger someone's trypophobia. It's fine. I don't have to do anything, any crazy revisions here. That's not too bad. Oh, up here is like Sonic's dad. Like he died somewhere during the movie, and Sonic's thinking about him. I this would be great for like a movie poster. I think we should go with. I feel like we could redo this. Like get rid of the Sonic part. All right, we'll just put. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Why Among Us? <sighs> okay, trying that again. There he is. He looks like a, one of the characters from Dr. Mario. Edit number three. Yeah, because this one's not turning out that great. I mean, there he is. That's him. But he's, he's not in the shot. He was late to the- he was late. He had to jump in last second. I got two more edits. Let's use him on one of the better ones here. First, let's fix his tummy up a little bit. I get paranoid sometimes that audio is not gonna record for video, so what I have a little tiny microphone attached to a nice big microphone. And it's kinda- kind of a cute character ship sort of thing. Okay, that's- that's better. That's pretty decent, actually. We'll go with this. Final version. Realistically, it- it does look almost as good as this. It's just the the weird things, like the fingers, like the things that AI gets wrong. This one's comparable. It's very comparable. All right, we got Kokoka Magic Circus. That's the last Patreon one, so we will do that real quick. Now y'all telling me, tell me this isn't like famous video game cover art right here. This game is 4.4 stars because they just put everything at 4.4 stars because they want you to buy their stuff. When realistically, this is more of a five. Let's describe this one a little bit more because we only have a few renders. With a red kato holding a gold gun. And we'll see what it thinks of this. Give me that kakato. Yeah, I figured I figured it might get to this point. Kokweskrik. Uh, <laughs> Cannibals on the loose for the Wii. High cargo surrogates. It's rated B because it's really Good. Let's do like a elf gremlin. <laughs> yeah, it should work. All right, number two. I'm, it's getting confused about the gold part. This is the green goblin or the gold goblin. Let's do video game box art. I would put something like with random friends in the background and it would probably come up with like, this just looks like some randomly generated characters behind them, but you know. That's just because Kakatka Magic Circus is ahead of its time. It's not like a lack of character design or anything like that. Personally speaking, that's, I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, okay. Dang, Kakatka with the glow down, actually. I like this one a lot more. Cute, small cartoon red elf gremlin demon. Let's go with Minecraft for one. We got two more of these. If Minecraft doesn't work, then we can move on. But I did a Minecraft one and it actually looked good. I actually like this. I think this is pretty decent. All right, this is number four. All right, it is definitely Minecraft. Minecraft, maybe not the way to go. <laughs> I was adding the audio for that dog sniffing the, sniffing real close to the camera. That's what it would be like. Ugh, ugh, don't like, don't. Why is it female? All right, here's what we're gonna do. 
Most of these don't need editing, so I'm gonna exchange all my edits for just one more render. I think this is kind of the way to go. He's gonna look different, but we're also gonna specify a few things. With red skin and no hair. Yeah, it'll be fine. What part of what part of red did you mistake for green? Well, we'll go with this. Download that. Alright, we'll move on to <sighs> Okay, first off, illustration here, <laughs> Griffin. And we'll see what it comes up with. I think this is probably the right category to go with, the children's book, uh, because Family Guy really is a children's book at the end of the day. Oh boy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Mater Potter shaking McJim. Uh, we're gonna take away the Mario 64 part. Family Guy. I can't make the jokes I wanna make. I wanna put like, from Offspring Man. I wanna be goofy and call things things they're not, because that's my sense of humor, but I can't do that here. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, all right, we're getting there. This is just not that bad. I think we do need to choose a different style, but I'll keep these ones available. Or we'll go with realistic just to get it out of the way. Hit that with a create. Whoa. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I just gotta find what style works best for it. I think the description's pretty good. Oh boy. I don't know, these these ones are better for the moment. I like how they got uh, Joe Dog, or whatever his name is too. This is realistically pretty good. We can brush up his face a little bit, but you know, there we have it. He's supposed to be floating. He's not supposed to look like a heroin addict either. So we'll upscale it and we'll, we'll do our edits. Did our founding fathers think this is what we would use our future technology for? Probably, I think so. You know what, it's fine, we'll go with this one. Uh, let's do the alien one real quick, because this here, this is a little more up the alley of what the AR could do, but it's a lot more difficult to make a better one because this is actually one of the better looking cover arts I've seen. This is definitely more of a poster illustration type thing. Colors of green and black. I can't type alien and it's right in front of me. I have an issue. All right, let's hit it with this. I mean, this one's not bad. It does say a rear and a loy alien. All right, that's really not too bad, but I think we gotta go with the realistic style for sure. In the game, when it zooms up on her face, like during this part of the game, because this is a screenshot from the game, she's like, alien. Hey, look, it's her. Photograph, black and white. Try this again. Uh, render number three. It's giving me a very similar thing here. Let's go with a medium shot instead. Oh, artsy. Uh, and decapitated. This will be number four. It, this one's just too good. I don't think we're gonna hit it. She looks like she's made of leather. All right, last one. Lens flare. Last one. We'll either go with this or like the first batch. This looks more like Speed Racer. Huh. We'll go with one of these first ones instead. Uh, and I don't think we'll go with this one. She looks a little bit derpy. And Allion, like they just spelt it wrong. Well, they got the lens flare in this one anyway. Yeah, whatever, we'll go with this. Final version, not as excited. I mean, it looks good, it, but you're not topping this. This is peak video game cover art here. I'd love if we could find not that funny though. It'd be so, I'm gonna do it, but I'm not gonna do it, do it. I'm just gonna see what it comes up with. Fat. Sonic the Hedgehog eating rings. This isn't for this. We're not gonna put it on the internet. Well, I guess we are, because I'm making a video. Uh, that looks decent. That looks really good. Looks like, uh, actually it looks like mealworms. No, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> I mean, I generated it. I might as well, I might as well give it to the guy. Oh, heck yes. See, it's even got the words that don't make any sense. White, blank. All right, we'll see what it comes up with. <laughs> Maybe this is the wrong style to go with. Why he eating that envelope though? Maybe a GTA 5. I didn't specify that it was tactical espionage action. I really should have done that. Yeah, we're not doing the GTA style. Hey, yo, he got them chopsticks. All right, go freeform. All right. I like that they got the beard and everything. I should specify that. Chiseled face, green and white and black. Oh, wow, it looks great. It looks just like him, dweeb. Freaking dweeb. See, I can make fun of how that guy looks because he's not real. That is one great thing about AI art. Oh man, this is pretty cool looking. We're getting close. I think this might be the style to go with. Kind of looks like the nostalgia critic. He's number four. 
All right, we'll go with the flashlight one, the one where he's holding the flashlight. And then I want to see what it would think of a Metal Gear Solid logo down here. Snake Eater. Metal Geeger Smate Smake, I can't, I just don't. I think I need to hone my skills with this. I, I feel like I need to specifically get good at using this program, which is a nice sign that it doesn't just do everything itself. Well, there he's just got a, like a didgeridoo or a horn or something. We'll just keep doing it until it gets it right, why not? We got three more. And I like gambling. And you know what I also like? Songle. And Ola. Creep. <laughs> Oh, Miata. Now he's got the, the question mark, and this is Spail. <laughs> if I'm honest, we're gonna have to go with like the the Mazda Miata logo here. That's probably the closest we're gonna get. All right, we got three more. I wanna do a Spyro one. Just cause I'm interested to see how it would do Spyro. It could definitely do Purple Dragon. So I feel like we could do this really well. We can make like a realistic uh, twist on the idea. And hit it with this. See what it comes up with anyway. I mean, hey, that's the same color scheme as Spyro for the most part. It's not, it's really not that bad. I feel like we need to specify kind of a goofier style though. I always hate when, I'm not, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at my camera, when it's like bright out and I record and it's on the camera because I feel like I'm gonna like watch back during the recording and there's like some evil face back there. It should be a little creepy spooky. Peter, I didn't find crazy face that's so creepy and spooky. All right, yes, maybe Minecraft was not the way to go. We'll go with uh, Overwatch. What would he look like in Overwatch, I wonder? They're not grabbing the logo. Ooh, interesting. And we'll specify the cute style. I would never have described Spyro's style as cute specifically, but I think after kind of learning how this program works, it's going to understand that a little bit more. Like last time we specified something was going to be cute, it gave us this. And this is just adorable, to be honest. This looks like some movie from like the Shrek era that you never heard of. Oh, it, it looks like Skylanders, Spyro Skylanders. This is number four. It's really not awful. Let's just do, we're gonna do one more freehand, but instead of describing exactly what Spyro is, we're just gonna say Spyro the dragon and hopefully it knows what that is. This looks like, like a beta version of the game if it was for like the Sega Saturn or something. This is not too bad. It, like, it's similar to this. I get rid of his face and we'll do... <laughs> I like this. Just give that to me specifically. I like it. It's it's creative. It's got the, the opera logo in the background and everything. All right, two more we have to do here before we put them all up for comparison. Let's do a warped. Why not? I'd love to see how this handles Crash specifically. Okay. Freeform, go. What the heck is even this? This here is exactly what you would see as like a mobile game thumbnail on the App Store. Maybe that's what AI art is specifically gonna be for. It's just for randomly generating all the literally randomly generated apps on the App Store and giving them titles and stuff. Oh, dang. I, this is this is pretty good. We'll stick with Freeform. Freeform's working pretty good, I think for this character specifically. I don't think a specific style is gonna be great, so we'll just stick with that. Well, you know, a little bit. Hey, this is kind of cool. If they remade this game for like the Xbox Series X, but it was like a deeper origin story and it was just, it wasn't called like Crash Bandicoot Warped, it was just called Bandicoot or like something really stupid and dumb. Don't like those too much, go with number four. This is more like the PlayStation 2 era Crash. Really not that bad. We'll go with one more generation here. Oh, sheesh, look at that. Oh, we gotta go with this one. We get rid of this second head on the back of the motorcycle here and we're golden. Now it may not look as much like Crash as it looks more like Lucky from Super Lucky's Tale or something. And also down here, I'd love to add a logo. <laughs> Asked Klasmiko, case in gray. This, you can't quite tell this is a motorcycle anymore. This one you can, there it is. This is it right here, this is perfect. Rutok Kalalix. So for the last one, I actually wanna do something that I choose. Let's go with the, like the Breath of the Wild 2, cause it's kind of watercolor. You go to illustration here, and we can do a watercolor painting style. That, let's see what it can come up with. Cause you know, in this day and age, considering this game hasn't even come out yet and they just revealed the, the cover art and stuff quite recently, it could very well have been that Nintendo got an early version of uh, Image Creator and just chose, ooh, to generate. 
Maybe not. Maybe not actually. Young Knight. Hit him with one of those. Render number two. You like that funny sound I made? It's not always easy to be funny on camera, and so I'm thinking if this really works out well, maybe I could also just randomly generate some of my uh, some of my own jokes and stuff too, so I don't maybe have to try as hard. I could probably get content out faster. There's also like AI tools now for video editing, which I don't trust that with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> I don't even need to randomly generate stuff. Oh, I'm on fire right now. That was the funniest thing that's happened. There's the blonde. They got the blonde hair, I think. Maybe we gotta go with a different style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I don't think the anime works. Let's just go back to freeform. Yeah, I think this is our last one, so it better work out. Yeah. I don't know. We'll go with it. We'll just try and generate a logo and... All right. Land Lind. I feel like I like Land Lind, to be honest. Let's go with that. So I got to put together a tweet now, asking people what was better. Something, something like that. Yes, visual design is my passion. Yes, that joke is not funny and has been done to death. Very, very cool. So here's what we got. I'm hoping it'll be in high enough resolution on Twitter. Personal opinion, do I think any of these are better than the original? Sonic 06, maybe. Uh, obviously, there are flaws with the AI, but if you touched it up a little bit in Photoshop, you had some person take care of it. Yeah, you could have generated maybe a better. Is it better? I don't know. And and maybe the Crash Candicoot, or the Ruku, the Rutu Cal Calac Lex. I don't think the character looks better. I like the background for this better. I don't know, man. Like, there's good things and there's bad things. The Peter Griffin one is 100% better than the original. I'm sorry. One one like. Realistically deserves it. This is not a real person. Alright. Throw this up. Uh, rile some people up. And we'll check back later to see what the verdict is and or if um, I haven't been assassinated. So, that would be a cool transition. Oh, what if I like turn off the all right, I've let the food stew for a bit. I mean, the, the competition is steep. Yep, it's over. I mean, I'm there with you, man. That's 100%. Those parallel universes make this one look good. He's being really sarcastic, so he thinks that the AI art is way better than the original, which I, you know, I gotta agree with him. Ah, yes, Miata. And then I said Mazda Miata. The funny thing is, I forgot Mazda is spelled with a Z, but because the second word is also misspelled, nobody calls me out on this. Because for all they know, I did it on purpose. I, I kind of lucked out there, to be honest. See, Mark thinks it looks good. I think it looks good, too. Now, there's somewhat of a handicap at play, considering it looks like he does have a fully drawn face that you just can't see. There's really, there's no face. It's just a weird smudge, but he can't tell because it's low res. Rebellious robot, dang. Somehow, somehow the Super Mario Galaxy one looks decent. I think that's sarcasm, but I do disagree. I think it, I think it looks pretty good. Pier 64 gotta be one of my all-time favorites. I think this is, I don't know, this one's not sarcasm. And I agree. Galaxy 2 one almost looks normal, minus the green thing. This one's definitely sarcasm, but again, disagree. No, they'll cancel you for using AI. The joke's on them, I've been using Google Assistant for years. Hmm. The Elka Seltzer is simply exquisite today. Look how they misissered my boy. Turned him into Spyro from Firefox. Yeah, it does kind of look like Firefox. You do not look at the AI generated Legend of Zelda cover and think, OMG guys, this AI stuff is insane. They're gonna take our jobs away and we are screwed because this is really good. I think you are. Look at this. Ladland, does he not look way more like chiseled and manly than Link? Little, little feminine little Link over here with his feminine sword. Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, because he's crying, boo hoo, I'm not as cool as big guy, oh. Please AI, don't do this to me, they can't hear you. I mean, it's a very smart thing, but it so far doesn't have ears built in uh, to hear you, and it's not at all connected to Twitter. So in conclusion, uh, we'll definitely need to run some more tests with some future uh, videos and examples, but for the most part, I'd say there is a conclusion, even though there is no conclusion. I can definitely conclude, like, these ones do look quite a bit better. I mean, look at this guy. Someone pointed out the snake's arm is literally a snake. It does kind of look like a snake with an open mouth. I kind of see that. See, it's genius, realistically. Anyway, that's it. Donate to my Patreon if you have heartburn. Tube doing intro for his tube video. <laughs> that's me. It's that easy. Looks like, uh, me. Yeah, see ya.